हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू वर्धमान कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग आई एम डॉक्टर ए किशोर कुमार असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वाटर एंड इट्स ट्रीटमेंट व्हिच इज देयर इन इंजीनियरिंग केमिस्ट्री कोर्स सो कमिंग टू इंट्रोडक्शन एज वी नो वाटर इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉम्पोनेंट इट इज ए गिफ्ट टू हस राइट सो वाटर generally essential component for humans animals and uh, plants and uh, humans we use uh, water for uh, different uh, purposes and for uh, uh, industrial uh, application also so here getting soft water is uh, very very important and also if a water is available if a water source is available convert that water whether if if it if it is a hard water convert that hard water into soft water is very very important so in this case first we should know what is soft water what is hard water if a water is hard water then what are the components that are present in that hard water why that water is called as hard water what happens if hard water is there and how to remove that hardness causing salts from the water we should know these things so here causes of hardness as we know when water passes through limestone and uh, dolomite the two important uh, bivalent cations calcium plus 2 ions and uh, magnesium plus 2 ions get enters into the water so here we can observe so here water is passing through limestone deposits so that uh, calcium carbonate here entering into the water calcium plus 2 uh, next uh, when water passes through dolomite uh, deposits magnesium plus 2 and sometimes uh, even calcium plus 2 ions are also enters into the water so these two bivalent cations calcium plus 2 and uh, magnesium plus 2 ca uh, bivalent cations are the major uh, reason for uh, uh, getting water into hard water so which water is called as a hard water and uh, which water is called as a soft water here if water is uh, treated with uh, soap solution if we get lather easily if we get uh, foam easily then that water is called as a uh, soft water so instead of uh, foam if we get uh, precipitate if we get uh, scum then that water is called as a uh, hard water so here we can observe soap reactions with uh, water here soap formula c17 h35 coona sodium stearate soap uh, uh formula c17 h35 coona it is called as sodium stearate so when soap is treated with water we are getting stearic acid c17 h35 cooh so that stearic acid upon again reaction with soap we are getting lather so a reason for getting lather is uh, when soap react with uh, stearic acid we are getting lather if we get lather easily then that water is called as a soft water so here coming to hard water which water is called as hard water here when soap is uh, treated with water if that water is having uh, calcium plus 2 ions and uh, magnesium plus 2 ions here we, you can see here calcium chloride assume in that water calcium chloride is there or calcium sulfate is there or calcium nitrate is there or magnesium chloride is there or magnesium sulfate is there or magnesium nitrate is there that means here in the water if calcium plus 2 here calcium plus 2 ions magnesium plus 2 ions so whatever the water you are treating with the soap if that water is having these two ions calcium plus 2 and uh, magnesium plus 2 ions we are getting precipitate here you can observe 
curdy like precipitate white scum here you can observe here you can observe right so here this white scum or white precipitate due to formation of calcium stearate and uh, magnesium stearate so this calcium stearate and uh, magnesium stearate or calcium stearate or magnesium stearate or sometimes both are present right so due to presence of calcium plus 2 ions and uh, magnesium plus 2 ions particularly calcium chloride calcium sulfate calcium nitrate and uh, magnesium chloride magnesium sulfate magnesium nitrate even even bicarbonates also calcium bicarbonates and magnesium bicarbonates so those forms precipitates of uh, calcium stearate precipitate and uh, magnesium stearate precipitate in our wash area generally we use it to observe this uh, white uh, precipitate right so here if water is giving water upon treating with the uh, water upon treating with soap solution if you are getting that precipitate then that water is called as hard water right so here coming to types of hardness so mainly there are uh, two types of hardness number 1 is a uh, temporary hardness and uh, number 2 is a uh, permanent hardness so here name itself indicating that uh, temporary so this hardness is temporary that means if temporary hardness causing salts are there that means if bicarbonates 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 of calcium and uh, magnesium right so if bicarbonates of calcium and magnesium are there in the water if we boil that water those bicarbonates are converted to another form right another form means those bicarbonates are converted to precipitates once precipitates are formed those precipitates can be easily filter off that means here we need to take water we need to take water in a container let us say it is a beaker right so take water into it assume that water is having bicarbonates bicarbonates and now you heat now you heat so this is water right so what happens here upon boiling the bicarbonates are converted to another form where you are getting precipitates so here you will get uh, precipitates so here you will get uh, precipitates so once the precipitates are formed we can easily filter off so we can easily filter off so let us see the reactions what happens if we boil the water when bicarbonates are there so here you can see calcium bicarbonate upon heating calcium bicarbonate upon heating we are getting calcium carbonate which is insoluble which is a precipitate so this arrow indicates what precipitate ppt precipitate and uh, if magnesium bicarbonate is there upon heating we are getting magnesium hydroxide which is also insoluble right so once these two insoluble precipitates are formed you just simply filter off so that you are able to remove the bicarbonates which are converted to calcium carbonate and magnesium hydroxide so in this way we are able to remove bicarbonates hence that's the reason these salts are called as a temporary hardness causing salts yeah next what is a permanent hardness right so when chlorides sulfates and uh, nitrates of calcium and magnesium chlorides sulfates and uh, nitrates of calcium and magnesium are present in the water they are not able to remove by simple boiling so hence that hardness is called as a permanent hardness so to remove such salts we need to adopt some specific methods right so here so presence of organic matter 
presence of alkali sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide and presence of common salts like uh, sodium chlorides does not cause any hardness to the water organic matter bases like sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide and uh, sodium chloride doesn't cause any hardness next uh, salts like uh, calcium carbonate magnesium carbonate and uh, carbon dioxide if these two salts and uh, dissolved carbon dioxide is there in the water consider these three into temporary hardness causing salts so this is a uh, useful in a uh, uh, calculation of total hardness calculation of uh, uh, temporary hardness and calculation of uh, permanent hardness so next session we are going to have uh, those topics only next coming to units of hardness so here there are four types of units are there parts per million milligrams per liter degree clark and degree french so here reference here calcium carbonate we take as a reference here right that means the hardness of water is measured in terms of calcium carbonate equivalent because here calcium carbonate is the most insoluble salt that is one reason and another reason is uh, its molecular weight calcium carbonate molecular weight is uh, 100 so which is uh, easy while doing the calculation right so by considering these two points so we are converting the hardness hardness uh, causing salts into calcium carbonate equivalents so here uh, four types of uh, units are there number one parts per million number two milligrams per liter number three degree clark number four degree french and here there is a relation between uh, these four units so here 1 ppm is equals to 1 mg per liter and that equals to 0 0.1 degree French and that equals to 0 0.07 degree Clark. Thank you.